And what I want to talk about today is a bit, uh, a bit about file access intelligence. Now, we've recently added a few more features to it and, and kind of bolstered it. So for some of you who are already aware of it, there's new stuff to learn. For those of this the first time, this is a very interesting application within our product. Now, file access intelligence, there's quite a few challenges our customers are dealing with around this area. Like, what is sensitive data? Who can get access to it? Is it, a, is it shared with people outside the organization? Our customers need to understand where their sensitive files are, who can get to them, and what is the context to, to those files, like external versus internal, what data is within those, those files. And that is a place where we can really help them. Now, it's, as always a big idea, we try to kind of take a, a step using all the different machine learning capabilities and all the data understanding we have and applying this to this problem as well. So we've taken the data, we've applied the classification, we're looking at all the different capabilities we've got. And what we've identified is we're able to bring to the table, on the one hand, very good view into who has access to all different files, where he works, and also where we think our real strength lies is the ability to identify actual sensitive data. Not just telling people about access rights, but actually telling them about access rights to what. And that makes it a lot easier for them to take action, to identify their risk, and to flag high-risk users, groups, and data within the organization. We feel that that is a very powerful thing we've got. Um, just to remind everyone, you know, as always with Big ID, we don't, as I said previously, we don't take a singular approach of just um, looking at the data. We try to look at the privacy as aspects of it, the perspective, the data quality, and all of that together. And in and, and this application, again, you can see that. You know, as you progress on it, as you're going to see today, we're applying all of that to the data and giving you a very strong tool to actually manage access to that data. And we, we feel really the place we shine and the place I'm going to start and try and highlight today again is we don't just look at access rights like a lot of the companies within this area. We use our strength within the sensitivity and, and the understanding of the data itself to, to give you context. So the customer can actually look at these access rights, see what's going on, and understand if this file is actually important, should he take action, or is this just misconfiguration of a file that no one cares about? And, and, and this is important because our customers have a lot of work and a limited amount of time to take action. And any way we can do to help them focus on where are the interesting area or the sensitive files will help them. So let me quickly switch over to the demo. So to get to access intelligence, you go at the bottom here to the application management option. And here you can see access intelligence. Now, by the way, if you're using this quite often, you can also flag it as a start application, which would then it appears right down here to make it quicker to access. So I talked about access intelligence. A lot of what we do is about identifying access, you know, open access to sensitive files. So you've got different ways here to see sensitive files. You can see the distribution of sensitive data by data source and which one of those data sources have sensitive files, which are also open access. You can see it by object. You can see which policies have been violated based on open access. And you can also see the trend over time if more files or if more sensitive files have open access now. 